toward Dallas. And all matter of fact, a lot of folks that came back from the Dallas game, uh, I say the Dallas game, LSU against Oregon State, had to go through the smoke or had to reroute because of all the fire still because it was so dry. That's correct. So anyhow, uh, good news. And uh, my little friend over at Johnson's Wholesale Meats, David uh, Como, uh, talked to me on uh, Tuesday, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I might add that uh, he had a good, lively uh, business for his uh, wholesale, Johnson's Wholesale Meats that he operates. And uh, that's good news for the community because uh, they buy in local cattle in a lot of cases. In most of his cases, it's all local cattle. And that helps our economy. Yes, sir. What about the library? Make cut operating, uh, yeah. operating hours. Uh, boy, Mrs. Estelle must be upset. Uh, uh, my chemistry 101 teacher. Good morning, Mrs. Estelle. Welcome and of course, back. Yes, hello. Uh, I know you and Mrs. Estelle uh, Good exchange uh, uh, She e likes emails. history. I like history, so we stay up to date with yeah. each other. And, uh, but she's trying to get the library right, and they want to get the council and the mayor to work better together to try to get past the impasse, and they're holding the library hostage in the middle. Yeah, and uh, we hope that that can be relieved because, uh, you know, that's a, a business. Let's call it a business is what it is. And that business, when they came out with all of the iPads and the computers and all of that, I thought that would be the end of the libraries. I mean, it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a death call. Well, it... Actually, it's it the has other way around. it has worked the other way because around. People got to go to the libraries that don't have the income, don't have the steady internet connections at home, and use the computers there. That's correct. It's a huge, huge help. Big, big help. And uh, a couple of them that were interviewed uh, uh, mentioned that uh, they're in the habit of going there and they meet friends there. So it's sure. also a little social place. But it's a place that, uh, by the way. We don't have a direct eight hours anymore. Something happened. Uh, Mr. Stubbs is no longer there. He's retired. He's retired. Gone. Yeah. And then they, I now, guess the money factor came in, so they have volunteers right now. Already. Currently, to try to help out, to try to yeah. try to figure out and clean things up, try to move forward. Well, so. I'm sure it's going to be worked out. I let, hope so. Let, let's hope so. They put a new roof on the building, so now they can buy some. Good equipment. I and everything think they got else. a roof now. They had just changed the front on the building. They hadn't changed the top. Oh, really? I thought they had done the whole yeah, thing. Well, it was I, just the front. I, I missed out on that. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, Dixie uh, Storage. Let's get some sponsors in. Yep. Dixie Storage. If you're looking for storage all throughout St. Leonard Parish, they've got locations available for you. Warehouses. Places to load with, with your, uh, your forklift, if you want to load from a, 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 a normal get it out, a train, off or on a train. I ran into uh, Tommy Stanford with Stanford uh, Construction there in Port Barry, and they just finished building a whole bunch of these metal buildings with the, some of that SNS steel that they use to build these big metal buildings. From Arnoville. Beautiful job that, that they've done uh, there. So if you're looking for, for something to put your business storage in, they can handle it from the littlest thing to the biggest thing, personal storage as well. They're also, they've got the two buildings in town, the one on the, on the west end, one on the east end, both primed to be restaurants. But I think the one they call the old bingo parlor, the one on the east side, they're going to open a reception hall in it. So if you're looking for a reception hall or a party type hall for, a, for an event, they have plenty of parking, a full kitchen, and can accommodate up to 300 people. Give Dixie Storage in Port Barry a call. And don't forget to assist the company, A-plus class with locations in Lafayette and in Opelousas. Let me show one quick photo, if I can make my little computer jump fast enough to show it here. Show this photo, Mark. This is a picture of the Sunrise Fast Cash here in Opelousas over on 213 North Main Street. And we had a bunch of those old windows. The building had the original windows and the w original stuff. And of course, they get old, they draw a rod between the seams, and it was time to do something. So we, we had them come, A-plus glass come in, and change the windows there in the front of the building. And look how clean and nice and neat. They got some signs up while they're working on, on cleaning up all the front of that building or repaint just to freshen it up. But if you're looking for good glass, A-plus glass, Lafayette and Opelousas. Yep, they come in, they measure it, and they install it themselves. Mm -hmm. They said that uh, drilling uh, will be up uh, in 2012. Well, let me say this. Uh, I guess the last six months of, well, all of uh, 2011, our, the year that's, that's ending in just a few days. By the way, this is the, our last program 
in 2011. We won't see anybody for a whole year. <laughs> Till January. That's a the uh, what Was that going to be about the fourth uh, next? It will uh, be the four, uh, thir fifth. There we go, fifth. The fifth. Can you imagine the, the year will be already started pretty good by the time we uh, come back It'll be again. halfway through already, the so, first month. <laughs> just for those of you that might have to run off to work or something like that, happy new year. Uh, may you have a good healthy year. And uh, may, may, may it be a holy year also. Keep uh, our, our suggestion at the end of each program. Uh, some of you maybe don't get to hear the end. you trying to rush off to, to get to work. And uh, maybe you missed the end. Uh, for 35 years now, I've tried closing my programs with uh, the simple request to please attend the church of your choice. Mm -hmm. So uh, New Year's is what? That's not a... Uh, Manda yeah, well, yeah, you should go. You should it go? It is, oh, yes. Well, I'll be doing I don't know if I've been you going. Need to go. Well, it's going to be a Sunday. You can't miss now. Oh, that's true. It's going to fall on a Sunday. You'll be just right. I'll be just You better right. go and pray and think about the saints that morning in church. Then you better go that afternoon and watch the saints that evening on television with the football. You'll be set. There'll be saints all the way around. Yeah, and next, uh, <laughs> next week... Uh -huh. uh, I'll be wearing LSU colors. We wore last last week. I, I wore the UL cover, the mm -hmm. red, the raging Cajuns. Correct. And, and this they won week, their big bowl game. they won that bowl game. Now the uh, you Saints. Keep your streak on. Saints. Well, Breeze broke the record. Dan Marino's total yards in a season. Twenty-seven year old record. Over five thousand yards. It's more than. What is that? How is that? How many miles is that? That's uh, over three miles. Colston with the Saints said that yeah. uh, he was one year old when <laughs> when Dan Marino, Marino broke the record. Broke the record. You know, Marino was a rookie. That show you how long ago that was. It was his rookie year that he did. Supposedly that. it was harder to do then than it is today oh. because of the changes but in the rules. But that's what they all say. They always say it was so much harder back then. I can tell you that those defensive players get better and better every year. Those but films what, what they get was to changed? You, you the guru. I always call you they, when I have well, a question. They, they've changed the rules a little bit as far as bumping. They can't bump them as much downfield, but a lot of it had already been changed by Tom Marino got in the league too. So, you know, and in the hitting, the quarterbacks can't get hit as much now as they did then. But in general, you know, when when Marino broke the record, the comment was made then. Well, he broke old what Unitas's record or whoever's record. It was, mm -hmm. You know, he didn't have it as hard as then. Well, now make another quick statement, then yeah. we'll we'll move on. But Go ahead. you said something about who might have a chance this weekend. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers with Green Bay. You know, they're not far behind him. Oh, they they close on they're that record too. They're not far behind him. They they catching too. So well, then uh, I think we need to sign a little uh, petition. To let uh, Breeze play, yeah, because uh, you know they don't need he, him to only play two this yard, week. He only broke the record by two yards, if my memory, well, right. is my my addition, that's right. my addition subtraction is correct. And he broke it right at the end. They made sure all the sponsors got covered before he broke it. You notice that? He he, <laughs> he broke it and he broke it with his little buddy. It's like, was, like it was choreographed. And he gave it to How everybody. How about that for a, no, he a almost, statement for a ball from play zone? He almost gave it to De The play before was, was kind of set for Devery. If Devery could have broke that tackle and got the catch, Devery would have had it. Yeah. But, it, but it looked like he was trying to give it to as many but receivers Sproles, as he could. he is responsible for bringing... And that guy has played a major oh, yeah. role in that success this year. And when you first saw him, like you couldn't him. find him. He's so short and so, you know, about five foot eight, I think it is. But you notice how many teams, college teams, are going to at least one short speedster like he is. You gotta mix but, it up. But then the, then you got, got the big but, one and but, the little but ones. But the thighs are that big. I mean, he's a- Oh, he's in he, shape. He is a football player. <laughs> and and they had played together at San Diego. Correct. So he knew the, mm -hmm. the ability, the potential that this young man it had never developed, just like he had never really developed until he came to the Saints. Unbelievable. I liked him at San Diego, but a lot of people were down on him. I thought he had all the right tools. It just whether well, he could put them all together. And let me tell you, he's he's unbelievable. Well, he, he's a coach on the field. And then off. And on, boy, they love him. All the good stuff. Wherever he, does. he goes, uh, he he loved. The, that that was one of the big uh, tackles giving a little interview, and uh, what he thought about him. He says, "It's all the thing. How he can do all the things. He, he everything. He's the first man at practice, the last man to leave practice, and then he heads out into the community to do charitable 
And big family things, man. yeah, and and then two he little boys. takes care of his two little boys. All of that was said in go. one statement. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, anyhow, drilling. I started all of this, but drilling still and then drilling. and, and uh, there's going there's real good signs of drilling uh, on land. It, it's unbelievable how much land drilling is taking place, and maybe the moratorium that was put on offshore might have helped the owners of the own land because the shale is not something that just was found. It's been there. They just decided to go after it. And now they're going after it in a huge way. And Louisiana is right at the brink of uh, exporting gas. Uh, the gas, there's more gas right now. The price is down to $3 and change uh, per million BTUs oh. or however it's sold. Uh, at one time, it was up to like $10, but it also used to be, according to some stories I've heard, it used to be $0.10. Cents. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it apparently it's still a price that you can make money at because uh, the drilling is going on all over. And some of this shale, of course, now they're finding oil in some of these shale finds, uh, old sites that they're going in. and That technology is better to get the, the oil out. technology to get the oil out. How about Quarters Casino? If you're looking to go and have a little gaming experience, maybe a little quick bite at the Mexican restaurant and cantina there called El Pico de Gallo, go inside the Quarters Casino and Travel Plaza right there off of the interstate I-49 at exit 23. Uh, you can go inside the Chevron and get you some fuel from diesel to, to regular gasoline. They've got the big pumps if you're in an 18-wheeler, the little pumps if you've got a truck or a car that drives with diesel. Uh, they've got the crispy, crunchy fried chicken that's open all the time inside the, the casino and the, the gas station. Uh, open 24 hours a day, Monday through Sunday. The restaurant's open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's lunch and supper. Go by and have a good time. And uh, on, the second, on the second half, we'll go right into some pictures that we took. We and uh, the first ones I see on uh, the screen here that we'll be mm -hmm. showing is uh, the Mattis truck stop and his father and his brother and sister-in-law and mm -hmm. uh, just a lot of good things happening over in Simsport. And don't forget to remind me to mention about Piggly Wiggly in Simsport. Ooh, I heard some good news. Folks, we're going to see you on TV and radio on the other side of three.